Cut. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sandy, and I'm excited to show you this crispy air fryer cod recipe. So we chose cod for this recipe because cod is a really nice lean fish. It's mild, inexpensive, and it's really versatile to cook with. You know, it's actually a great fish to try if you're not big into fish. I like to call it a starter fish because it's just so mild and versatile. So I'm just going to get started by spraying the cooking tray of the air fryer with some oil so that the bottom of the fish doesn't stick. Then I'm gonna transfer my fish onto the tray. Now I'm gonna go ahead and brush the cod with a little bit of mayo. The mayo really acts as glue for the cod so that I can put a crust on the top and that the crust sticks. The mayo also adds a little bit of fat to the fish, which gives it a nice mouthfeel and really helps it taste a little bit more satisfying. I'm just gonna do the top so you don't have to brush the sides or the bottoms because that crust is just gonna go on the top. So now I'm just gonna make a really simple crust for the fish. I just have a little bit of panko. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of garlic and herb rub. Smells so good. And then I'm gonna melt a little bit of butter and add that. Give it a little stir. So that melted butter that I put it in here is really gonna help give the fish a nice texture on the top and it's gonna help it brown and get crunchy too. So all I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the topping, let that mayonnaise be the glue, and put equal amounts on every piece of fish. This topping actually also really makes the fish look beautiful too. Adds it some color and some texture. Okay, so I'm just gonna press this all on there. So now I'm gonna make a fresh corn and asparagus salad that cooks at the same time as the fish. This salad really turns this recipe into a main dish. So I'm gonna start with my corn. I have a whole fresh corn on the cob right here. To me, fresh corn like this really signifies the start of summer. I love fresh corn. It's sweet and it's got a little crisp bite to it that you won't find with frozen or canned corn. That's because those types of corn have more moisture in them, which really takes away from that fresh texture. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my asparagus. Now you probably notice that asparagus comes in all different sizes or widths. You've probably seen the super skinny spears or the really thick ones. Now both are wonderful if you ask me, but you should really consider the type of cooking that you're doing and the type of recipe when you choose the type of asparagus. The really thin spears, um, they are a little tougher and they can have a lot of a snap and high heat can dry them out. Whereas the thicker spears, they're really tender, but they can get super mushy if you boil them. So higher heat works better with those. Now mine are kind of medium to thick and they're gonna hold up well in the air fryer. So now that I have my asparagus and the corn in the bowl, I'm just gonna add some olive oil and some salt just to give it a little bit more flavor. This oil is also gonna help it cook in the air fryer too. Maybe give it a little bit of color. A little bit of salt. Okay, I'm mix this all together. Like I mentioned before, I like to call this a twist on a sheet pan, but there's actually no sheet pans because I'm using the cooking trays that come with the Deluxe Air Fryer. The cooking trays really help keep the air moving evenly around the food so that it cooks nice and evenly. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the food in. I'm gonna put the fish on the top tray so it gets nice and browned and crispy. Then the vegetables just go in the bottom. I'm gonna cook this on the roast setting for 10 minutes. Okay, so while that's all cooking, I'm gonna make a really simple lemon herb vinaigrette for the vegetables. This is so easy. I just have a little bit of olive oil right in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and juice my lemon into the bowl. I love this vinaigrette. This is actually not just for this recipe. You can use this on all other different vegetables, even in a little salad. So simple and fresh. We have a little bit of Dijon mustard, some honey, and some fresh chives. Fresh chives really give it like a fresh springy flavor that's gonna go well with the vegetables. So I'm just gonna mix that together. And that'll be ready when the fish and vegetables come out. Looks so good. I'm actually so excited to bring this recipe home tonight because my family's tried it and they're big fans.
Oh my goodness, look at how browned that crust got. Okay, just gonna put the vegetables down first. I'm gonna top these with just a little bit of my yummy vinaigrette. Just give them a little bit of extra flavor. And then go ahead with our fish. So you can serve this extra sauce on the side, or I like to drizzle a little bit over the top. Those fresh chives just give the top of the fish really nice color and a pop of flavor. So whether you're looking for something new for your weeknight meals or just trying to get more fish into your meals, I hope you'll try this crispy air fryer cod. It's a great recipe for a fresh take on fish night.